Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today, uh, I don't know about this one. Why, wire backers? I don't know how you say that. Wire backer or batcher, whatever. Sexy mother pucker. Yes, seven point five percent ABV. So way up there on the ABV scale. Uh, but this is uh, now this is at an Easton, PA. Wire backers brewing company. Again, I don't know if I'm. Probably definitely not saying that right. Uh, yeah, and it's a sour. Just a little sour ale. And that's their little, if you can see that on the cap. Sweaty as all get up because it's hot. About 85 to 82 or 83 degrees out here today. All right, well, this is going to be short and sweet because I, I can tell you I'm not really. Hmm, it smells nice. But I've had a sour one or two before and they're not my thing so I'm gonna try to judge this by the style I guess I'm going in here blind and I'm going in here with just oh yeah there's some sediment so I'm gonna leave that little bit in there really kick that up so this is bottle conditioned but it's got a lot of sediment down at the bottom. I'm trying to loosen that up, break that up, so we can give it a swish and pour later. Nice mahogany color. Looks like you know a darker ale. I like the darker ales. It's like a you know dark amber. Let's give it a nose. It has a sweetness to it. Like dark candy. Almost like a Belgian type of yeast. It has that Belgian smell to it. Alright, cheers guys. Here we go. I'm not sure about this. this first mate you can have it the old salt <laughs> uh, yeah no nah, it's not my thing sorry guys so uh, the captain scale I'll give it a 1 out of 10 <laughs> but uh, yeah nah I will say this initially it's sweet it has like a raisin raisin, raisin notes dark type uh you know, pl uh, plum or uh, figgy, figgy notes from the yeast. On that first sip, when you take the first initial sip, but then it starts going back, and it starts getting sour, and it starts you, yeah, mother pucker, yeah, it makes make it does make your lips pucker. Ain't my thing. Sour beer, nah. In the style, I mean, I've only had one or two of these things. I had one from a, a, a homebrew. The guy at the homebrew shop, uh, he brewed up a sour, and it, it just—it's not my thing. And it's like I want to like it, but then when it starts getting sour, I'm like, ugh. You know, if this was like a Belgian beer with the uh, with these notes of fig and, and raisin, I like that. But then as soon as it starts, it's like, boom, I like, and then boom, blah, sour. So, no, it's not my thing. Uh, swish and pour, for what it's worth. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit, man. I got a lot of junk, man. Woo! Yeah, the mud, muddy, mucky, murkety, murk. Oh, man, we got some big floaties in here. Man. We got some chunk bowls. Made a nice big head on it. Same notes. Oh, excuse me. It's very carbonated. Oh yeah. Uh, mm, woo. Sour. Yeah, more more of that sourness coming through. So yeah, uh, yeah, it's not my thing. 
don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, right? Um, but you know, in the style, I guess. I mean, I'm not too familiar with this style, so I would give it a six out of ten. Okay, I'll be fair. I guess. So if you like your sour beers, give this one a go. It's a real pucker, that's for sure. So cheers, guys, till we do it again. Remember, let's set sail.